Hello and welcome back to adobelive.com, live from OFF 2017 in Barcelona. And our next guest, Lance Wyman, uh, will be delighting us with his, uh, his iconic designs. And, uh, but before we start, uh, I just wanted to, um, to tell everybody about a few housekeeping notes here. So if you're not watching this on adobelive.com, please come over to adobelive.com because that's where we have all of the information that you need to have a perfect experience of this live stream. For example, there you can subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel and uh, be alerted whenever we're, uh, we're live. And typically we're live every second week. Uh, so um, make sure to subscribe to the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. And also, there's a little tab down below that brings you to the Take 10 contest. And basically what that is, is a collection of 10 images that uh, are from Adobe Stock that we invite artists and designers all over the world to use and create something unique with these 10 images. So check out the contest. There's great prizes. There's iP an iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil and Credit Cloud to, to win. So uh, please participate. Also, in the, in the second half of, the, uh, of this, um, uh, of this uh, presentation, we'll also uh, view a couple of portfolios, one uh, live here uh, at the desk and one online. So Lance, welcome. And it's a great, great honor for me to have you here with us. Uh, <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here, yeah. both with you guys <laughs> and in Barcelona. In uh, Barcelona, yeah. yes. Is this your first time at OFF? And nah, it's my, uh, no, I was in uh, OFF in Mexico. And okay. I've been to Barcelona twice mm -hmm. before, so okay. it's, it's all good. And have you had already had your talk, or is that still coming no, up? No, I have that coming up, actually. Okay. I, I think I'm the last speaker, so... Oh, yeah, you know. okay. They're leaving the best for, for, the, <laughs> for the end of the show. Well, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, Lance Wyman, of course, is, is known for, for the iconic designs that we, um, uh, that we see on, our, uh, on, our, on my screen right now. You know, uh, mainly also the, uh, the, the Mexico uh, World Cup logo. That well, yeah, before yes, that, I did yes. the Olympic. Um, the Olympics, graphics, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And then the Metro. The and subway, then the Metro. Subway system. That's also because yeah. that's also something you're specializing in. Uh, that's right. Signaling and uh, yeah. like wayfinding and. Uh, I call it urban urban image now because mm -hmm. it, it takes in all well, the things you just mentioned. It has branding. It has mm -hmm. street furniture. It has special events. All yes. of that. Uh -huh. And if it, you do it all together and can control the image, you mm -hmm. can um, actually express. I mean, the city. It's like a um, a visual ambassador for mm -hmm. the city. So mm -hmm. it's it's good. Is there uh, maybe one, one thing that's interesting uh, for our audience is also like, how, how did you start? How did this whole adventure of yours start? Well, the adventure in Mexico or? No, the, the, as, a, as a designer. As, as a, a designer. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I, was, um, I wasn't a good student in high school. Mm -hmm. And um, I became president of my senior class. And they had an interview in the school newspaper and they, you know, the secretary of the class was going uh, to a certain school. The vice president was going to West Point, mm -hmm. and they got to me. And I, <laughs> I, was, I had no Ooh, plans, we no plans. Yeah. <laughs> so I said, "Well, I'm going to do something with my art." I mm -hmm. said, you know, and uh, then the school newspaper came out, and I read that, and I thought, "Well, that looks mm -hmm. looks looks pretty good." <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I called my father. He was a military guy, and I called him, and I said, "Dad, I said, you have any guys?" Uh, in your unit from New York. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, ask him what's a good school in New York to go to. Mm -hmm. And they both told him Pratt. Uh -huh. So that's how I got started. All right. Yeah, I went to <laughs> Pratt. And, uh, and then one thing led to another. One thing led to another. I, mm -hmm. Actually, at that point, they didn't uh, teach graphic design. It was mm -hmm. just coming over from Europe at that point. Mm -hmm. And they taught it at the graduate level at, in places like Yale. Mm -hmm. uh, so I studied industrial design. I, couldn't, I didn't even know what graphic design yes. was. Mm -hmm. And I was chosen to represent the uh, industrial design school at Pratt at a summer program at General Motors. And I met a student from Yale mm -hmm. who studied graphic design. Mm -hmm. And that was it. I've done everything to mm -hmm. keep doing it from <laughs> that point on. You know? So then, of course, uh, m many things have changed all the time. And we just had a conversation about how, how the whole design world has changed uh, yeah. recently as well. And maybe some thoughts about that. Well. God, I've been designing a long time, and in, in some ways it hasn't changed at all, because mm -hmm. uh, good design is good design. I mean, what has changed is the technology, mm -hmm. and um, I remember someone asked me a question about that, and um, I said, you know, when, when the compass was introduced, there was probably a, a lot of dumb circles. <laughs> you know, and I think the same thing can be said now with the technology. A lot of bells and whistles, and 
they're, they're kind of exploit, you know, explored for their own sake, and which is fine. I mean, that's great. There's a place for that. But um, I think now I start seeing concept coming back, mm -hmm. and it's a very healthy period. I mean, I, I love still be hanging around and designing now because yeah. it's, uh, it's a pretty good period right now. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the whole world's being shaken up in so many ways. Uh, yes. It's good to have a language to be able to participate mm -hmm. if you're asked to. Yes, so. yes. Mm -hmm. Great. It, looking at all of these projects, I wouldn't know which one to choose. Maybe we can, like, pick one and talk about that a little bit. Oh, well. Wow. First of all, the well, website is lancewyman.com. Uh, and I love the way it's done. You can actually reload the animation here. And, uh, and when you roll over it, you can choose the project. So yeah. That's, yeah well, I mean. you know, I've, I talk about these two projects a lot. And mm -hmm. uh, both of them hang around. The Olympics hang around just because it was uh, such a cohesive mm -hmm. program that was so effective. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, that's been, it'll be 50 years ago mm -hmm. this coming year. And uh, the Metro came, I did that right after the Olympics, and I got very involved in iconography mm -hmm. because of the experience with the Olympics. And I did the first three lines on the Metro, developing an icon, an icon for each of the stations. So, okay. so if you visit, for, for, for example. So which, which one is it? For, um, oh, let's see, it's here. This one here? No, yeah, no. that's it. This one? Yep. That's the... Uh, mm -hmm. There's an example, that's the uh, Merced Market, and that's a, uh, a symbol that's in the station. It's on a line map of symbols or icons, what you want to call them. And uh, it works very well, and it works for people that visit very well because if you're from China mm -hmm. and you don't know how to say uh, the name of the station and mm -hmm. you want to meet your group at that station, just mm -hmm. in Chinese, you can say apples in a, yeah. you know. This yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you can describe it in Chinese. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the thing that I, I kind of missed a little bit because I, I mean, obviously you know that they all have to be different and when they can relate to the station itself, that's usually good and we always try to do that. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a certain quality they have to be able to be described in any language. So anyone out there that's doing this kind of work, keep that in mind when you're uh, identifying something with an icon. Uh, don't get past the fact that if it doesn't be describable in any language, you might have screwed up. So Yeah, that's yeah. a very, very, yeah. very good right. I uh, missed that at, at first, yes. but then as we got into yes. it more. Yeah. Because basically it's a visual representation that, right. that substitutes language, right? Yeah, yeah. well, mm -hmm. it, it, it substitutes language. It's, like, it's like a visual identity, and it makes you realize that, I mean, the language, the Chinese language doesn't change, mm -hmm. but the way that you key into that mm -hmm. is for everybody, yes. you know. So in that sense, it, it transcends languages, but it includes every language at the you same go time. Right into the grid view. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, there you see. Now there's there's the uh, probably the first eight stations, and you can ah. see the relationships to the different um, icons. That one up in the right hand corner at the top, uh, that yeah. was a very difficult one to do. It's a cross station between the, the magenta and the blue line, mm -hmm. but the uh, the name of the station was after mm -hmm. a, um, a vice president who was assassinated in office actually and uh, there wasn't much I could find to represent him and then they discovered a, an Aztec pyramid ah. and now that's part of the station you can see yes. it under uh -huh. uh, excavation there uh. so uh, this, is, this is one of the, the richest I mean besides the outside of the Olympics mm -hmm. uh, programs that I've done because it really it kind of it's like being um, going in and bringing the surface bringing Mexico City to its own surface, mm -hmm, you know, it's mm -hmm. like uh, excavating its yes. own I mean, that's a, that's a trouble we have also in, in cities like, like Florence, where I live, that, or Rome, whenever they try to, to dig something, they oh, immediately yeah. have to stop because yeah. <laughs> they find something. Oh, that's <laughs> another problem. <laughs> yes. But this, uh, I, I'm just using that as an analogy mm -hmm. yeah. of, mm -hmm. um, you know, bringing, bringing the meaning of the different station areas mm -hmm. to the surface and then the people in those areas. For example, if you look at the bottom, one up from the bottom right, Yes. That area is called Candelaria de los Patos. And when we were doing our research, I heard, you know, Candelaria is the name of the station. And someone said, Candelaria de los Patos? I said, what, what the hell has to do with a duck? Mm -hmm. And w when the city used to be an island, so the water around it had a waterfront. And it's like our waterfront mm -hmm. uh, in different periods in history. That's where all the, 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 the criminal element hung yeah. out, you know. 
and uh, they called them ducks. Yeah. Ah, so okay. now, if you don't know that, it doesn't make, many, make any difference. But if mm -hmm. you do know it, and if you're from that community, mm -hmm. you you know it it's, has significance. Uh, yes. And we mm -hmm. try to do that with all of them. We try to get something that uh, is meaningful in a positive way or mm -hmm. a historic way uh, mm -hmm. to the community. And I think that's one of the successes. It's not mm -hmm. just pretty pictures. It's mm -hmm. uh, and I also love how the when the two lines meet, yeah, the way you can the go from lines. one line to the other. Yes. That's early sketches. Mm -hmm. So do you still sketch a lot? Um, I do, mm -hmm. but I of course go go to Illustrator like mm -hmm. sometimes before I sketch. Depends mm -hmm. on, I mean the sketching is really to get the basic idea down mm -hmm. uh, and go from there. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I don't need the sketch. I just had a, a, a series of, well, a series, a lot of my sketches um, were just published in a book on th that process of sketching. And uh, in my talk today, I'm going to show how it's, actually that book has helped me because uh -huh. these, these things go back into the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm showing the Minnesota Zoo and I was looking through the book and I saw that part where I actually had the first concept of the logo mm -hmm. for the Minnesota Zoo. So really interesting and it's a process. And I think mm -hmm. that's one of the things that I think doesn't change. Uh, the technology, well I just gave an example mm -hmm. of how the technology affects my process, but the process doesn't change. You know, it's having a creative idea, taking the idea, developing it, sometimes, and there's no time limit or time expectation on any of these mm -hmm. things really because they're probably different. If I look back at all, my, all of my projects, some of them are a real pain in the neck to, you know, mm -hmm. get an idea. Sometimes the idea comes really quickly, it takes a long time to develop it so that it uh, really works. And then you have the, the, you know, the final resolve, and that's where you want to get everything that you can't, it's like good poetry. You don't want to have anything be changed without destroying the mark. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when you get it to that point, I mean, that's my own personal way of knowing mm -hmm. I've gotten there. So yes, I mean, you know, like approaching a project like this, it is like, it's an it's a insanely um, complex um, uh, process, no? It's complex, mm -hmm. but it's also simple if you go through mm -hmm. the, um, you know, the steps of uh, just really figuring out what you're dealing with. I think that's mm -hmm. the, the most important part is in the, you know, once you have the concept. And the idea of, of doing um, icons for the different stations wasn't mm -hmm. easy in the beginning mm -hmm. because, you know, I mean, over at the, uh, the Metro, um, I was working with the architects and the engineers, and they said, what do you want us to look like, a bun bunch of illiterate people, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And, you know, that's changed now. I mean, we all have our iPhones, and we went, mm -hmm. unless we're all illiterate, icons uh, work pretty well. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, but I knew that from working on the Olympics. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I knew that. And uh, so that was part of what I really had to push. And then once we got into really identifying the stations and people got interested, mm -hmm. I mean, they got interested because it had meaning to it. Mm -hmm. It had a certain aesthetic. It was, it, 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 you know, it, it was just fun. And I also it's bet there were stations that were harder than others. Oh, like yeah. You mentioned the yeah. one where, where, you yeah. had, where they found the... Uh, this monument yeah. and that was then used. Uh, yeah. but no, there's some not funny all stories. stations had something representative. No, I guess. no, you had to dig. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh. Well, there you can see. Mm -hmm. Now that's our wall, um, and we designed by putting things up on the wall. So that was after the first line was complete, mm -hmm. and which was which was this one. That's the one. Yeah, okay. number one line. And then uh, we started designing the next two lines. Mm -hmm. And I was involved with the first three lines, and now there are 12 lines, and I'll talk mm -hmm. a little bit about that in okay. my... That's uh, Pancho. He mm -hmm. was my... I brought him over from the Olympic program. And um, that's, that's kind of an early construct to see what we were dealing with. Uh, we were going to make the line, the first line blue at first. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, I mean, I knew that every time we used magenta on anything in that Olympic mm -hmm. program, it was Mexican. It looked Mexican. Oh, okay, yes. So I told him, I said, come on, you know, we've got to use magenta. Line number one yeah, must be magenta. Yeah. <laughs> so we did that, and that, that was really important because mm -hmm. it really does. I mean, now the mayor of Mexico City, uh, magenta is all over the place. I mean, <laughs> they love it, you know. And then you can see a couple mm -hmm. of examples on, on uh, the other two lines. That's the map uh, with, you know, the first line in operation. That was the actual map that was in the stations. Now this is where the system really works. When you have um, a line map in the car, it's very, very easy to tell the symbols. 
and it's very easy to look out at the station walls and mm -hmm. see where you are and then mm -hmm. count how many stations you have. And mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of this is made more easily um, understood with, uh, with, you know, with, with um, technology where you can have it, but you can do the same thing with this and it's mm -hmm. maybe a little more fun than having dot letters or something mm -hmm. all the time, yeah, you, know? Yeah, yeah. you know? That was one of the early stations. I think Felix Candela designed that station, the, uh, the great Spanish architect. He was a friend. And that was the first mock-up we did for the uh, full-size sign, how we were going to put, I called them lollipops. Mm -hmm. We went up higher than that, and we didn't put the map on it. We just had okay. the uh, icons. Just this, the yeah. station. We, f we, we figured it would probably be too vulnerable if we had it down, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. you know. And there you can see what the uh, signs look mm -hmm. like. That's Chapultepec Park. Chapultepec means uh, Grasshopper Hill, and that's the uh, Nahuatl language of the Aztecs. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a lot of these things are very, very direct, and everyone understands them. Mm -hmm. Others you had to kind of... But again, coming back to that original thing that mm -hmm. I discovered later on, they all have to be identifiable by anybody in any language. Yes. Yeah, that's the trick. That's what icons mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's the... Uh, yeah. That's Pino Suarez, the Aztec. That's the Pyramid of the, the Wind. Oh. Yeah. Yes, well, it's a round yeah. pyramid, mm -hmm. okay. so that's what they mm -hmm. call it, the Pyramid of the Wind. And uh, that's Balderas. Um, so these are, this is the first line, and it was, it was quite effective. It worked in, you know... Now they have 12 lines, and I've, I've been uh, back in Mexico uh, working on coordinating this and doing a, a line number seven on a metro bus uh, mm -hmm. program, and they've also used symbols on all the metro bus stations. Okay. So it's really part of the city, and it's nice because you get a visual sense of where you are in the city mm -hmm. besides mm -hmm. names, you know. So yeah, that, so this has been going on for... Uh, Fi almost like 50 years, 49 almost, years. Wow. <laughs> It's timeless. Yeah, it has become timeless, mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of that because it works. And I mean, I get emails from guys that say, you know, oh man, that's my symbol. I grew up in that neighborhood, uh -huh. you know? <laughs> so it, it's like having a team or something that uh -huh, you relate uh -huh. to the uh, logo of the team. Yeah, and I have the same thing in Washington. Uh, that map yeah. has, you know, generated emails from people that mm -hmm. say they live in a certain area, so. Do you want to look at it? Uh, I don't know whether, the, uh. let's see if the Washington, no, let's see. I don't know whether I have the update on the Washington map mm -hmm. or not. It'll be up here. This one? Yeah. It might be, uh, these are icons. Okay. Yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's the okay. latest one, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can see over to the left, about 60% up, uh, there's a, a silver line comes in. Here? And, yeah, and that comes in from Dulles Airport. Mm -hmm. And I had to add that to the existing map. We did the existing map. I did the existing map with Bill Cannon when uh, the office was Wyman and Cannon mm -hmm. when I first came back from Mexico. And of course, they didn't have the silver line then. Mm -hmm. And we, we made the, uh, the lines very heavy so that we could put symbols in them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I wanted to do the same thing. I still like to uh, do it in Washington. Yes. <laughs> uh, so th to redesign the map, the map itself became like an icon mm -hmm. for the city and they didn't, didn't want to change it. Mm -hmm. we, ha we had to change it because we had to bring that line in mm -hmm. and running right through the center the way that the uh, map is delineated, mm -hmm. uh, I had to make the lines a little thinner. I, was managed, mm -hmm. I managed to keep the same uh, no, and I, 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 I know that this, like doing the maps of transport systems yeah. is one of the most difficult things because yeah. you never know, I mean, yeah, you really have to be, uh, take decisions of how to represent them, how to, you know, because uh, I did the one for Florence, for example. Oh, okay. For, yes, oh, for, the, okay. For, for the bus system. And yeah. uh, I remember it was a nightmare. But in the end, it was, was, I was very happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> but it took a lot of work. Yeah, it mm -hmm. is a lot of work. Mm -hmm. Well, that took a lot of work, too. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that was, that was the, the original diagram that we had to work with. That's based on the London uh, system. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there were some restrictions that we had to work with. I wouldn't have done it this way initially. Mm -hmm. I would have uh, tried to do it with icons like we did in Mexico. Mm -hmm. But, you know, in the, in the long run, I think that worked out as being very workable. And we kept it very graphic. Yeah, there, there it is mm -hmm. before the silver line came yes, in. Yes, before yeah. the silver line comes up. Yep. And there it is. Uh, that mm -hmm. was the first, the first map in the car. Mm -hmm. 
That was back in 76, around that area. And we also did all the uh, neighborhood maps. Oh, wow, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We developed something we call the walking uh, you know, distance. Um, oh, from one station yeah. to the other? Well, one station to the surrounding neighborhood. Oh, so okay. we gave a time and the approximate distance to anywhere mm -hmm. in that radius, those radiuses. And uh, that's been very helpful. I, we started that, I started that in Mexico. Here you can oh, see. There you go. <laughs> we, we researched 80 stations. They, I mean, they had 80 stations booked mm -hmm. to be built. And uh, you can see it's a very similar system. Mm -hmm. Um, as Mexico, and uh, God, I, 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 I still love to do that because Washington, I mean, it's our capital, you yes. know? It's like, yeah, I mean, there's so many historic things. Like someone said, what would you do for Bethesda, Maryland? Mm. And I said, wagon train, you yeah. know, the old covered wagon. I said, what mm -hmm. the hell's that, what's that all about? And I said, well, this is where the wagon train started out to go west from this uh -huh. area. Oh. And mm -hmm. there, were, there, were, there were wagon, you know, these long wagon trains, and they'd take mm -hmm. off and go west mm -hmm, from mm -hmm. Bethesda, right, oh. where the station was. So, I mean, things like that, I mean, that's really fun when you, when you can start, um, you know, showing details to a community that doesn't even know it has its own history mm -hmm, like that, mm -hmm. you know? So. That's another part of, I think, good design is uh, to, um, to uphold culture as well. Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, mm -hmm. in, in fact, it is part of culture one way or the mm -hmm. other. So, mm -hmm. if you realize that, um, you know, that's where I feel I think most proud is that the things I've done, well, in Washington and in um, in Mexico City, where it has become part of the culture, it has survived. People live mm -hmm. with it; they like it. Um, you know, they like me. It would mm -hmm. be terrible <laughs> if it. <laughs> oh yes, and it yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the. Yeah, there, that's it. That's mm -hmm. that's Bethesda. And there, you can see the uh, the little picture of the wagon trains oh, yeah. down there. Yeah. My God, what a <laughs> what an adventure that must have been. Yeah, it's wonderful. And that was, just, that was our early sketches when we were doing our initial research. Just um, one of the things that's very uh, important in developing a system like this is to find a, a language, so to speak. Here we started looking at a very lineal uh, approach to the icons. And mm -hmm. um, sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Later went into the solid icon mm -hmm. because some of the details you can't get into lineal. Uh, and there you see the solid icons as they were. Uh, so that's your pitch, yeah. and they won't take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, but you can see the icons on the yeah, mall. Yeah, we yeah, I, we yeah. identified the, uh, mm -hmm. the National Mall uh, mm -hmm. landmarks, monuments, and buildings mm -hmm. uh, with a lineal icon, a mm -hmm. bold lineal icon. So that was another reason not to go that route mm -hmm. with the, uh, the station icons. Yeah. I think, there we go. Yeah. We're back to the... All right. <laughs> But let's, let's look at a recent project. A recent project. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if I have something on there. Well, a, a recent project that I, I don't have a developmental uh, sketch, but go, you know, during, during the, uh, just before the Olympics, there was a student uprising, and a lot of students were, uh, were killed, actually, at mm -hmm. Flatiloco, mm -hmm. uh, which is a central part of, of Mexico City. And it's, it's a very... Um, well-known, documented event now, and it's a very sad uh, period in Mexican mm -hmm. history. Uh, I, d I did, I was asked by the museum to take, to do a logo for that period, mm -hmm. for the museum, for Tlatiloco. And we had developed a piece of, um, for the Olympic program, mm -hmm. and I integrated that with the 68 of the year, mm -hmm. the, the Oly Olympics, mm -hmm. uh, and it's, it's like suggesting it be like a phoenix, like coming yes. out of the, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and that's worked. I don't know whether there's, do we have two in that? I don't know whether the whole... No, I don't think... No, I just, yes. I, haven't, I haven't updated. But also like a piece. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. that dove was designed mm -hmm. for the... Um, for the cultural program, and when I was working um, on the Olympic program, Dr. Martin Luther King was assassinated mm -hmm. in the States, and Mexico was actually the first nation to issue a stamp, and they asked me to do it, mm -hmm. and that was really the first time we used that dub, was on that stamp. Wow. Yeah. So culture, history, I mean, it's, uh, yes. it's happening all the time, and we're part of it. You mm -hmm. might look at, uh, let's see, Look at look at the dove symbol. This one here, this yeah. One here. Maybe the king stamp is in there. 
I think you can just go through those quickly. Mm -hmm. there was yes, maybe I can just go through the yeah. here. The stamp. No, I guess it's not. No. Is that one of the, uh, that's all of them? Yeah. They're getting very loud behind us. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's okay with our microphones. Yeah. I love this. The yeah, that's, we, this we, we took all of the icons and made the uh, Aztec calendar mm -hmm. um, using the icons from the, both mm -hmm. the sporting programs and the cultural programs. Yeah, I like that's one of my favorite mm -hmm. pieces. Very striking. It, you immediately see the Aztec yeah. <laughs> uh, part of it. See another project that you would like to comment well, on? Let's see. God, there's there's so many. Yes. <laughs> what, what what area? Name name it. Yeah, here. Huh. We can come over here and um, here's corporate. Okay. Ah, yes, that's another feature that yeah. I loved about this site is that it highlights the. This these are the institutions, events, of course mm -hmm. the. Um, uh, I don't know. I mean, you, it, it, do we have an audience that's uh, into uh, soccer, football? Yes. I yeah. Okay. Will probably we. Well, I, 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 I was asked by a group up in Liverpool, UK, uh -huh. uh, to to do a poster for each one of the United States games mm -hmm. in down in um, Brazil. Okay. Yeah. In the in the last World Cup, so we were in one of the really, really, really tough. Um, let's see. The first game we had was, you know, we we, we won. Two, two, I think it was 2-1. We were in a group of four teams. Um, it was called the group of death. We had Germany, uh -huh. we had uh, Portugal, yes. <laughs> we had us, and we had Ghana. Uh. And uh, I, think that, I think it was Ghana. Okay, yes. so we won that. We, mm -hmm. win, we won our first uh, game, and then... Um, the next game was with Portugal, and they have, mm -hmm. uh, you know, one of the best players in the world, mm -hmm. the Portuguese. He plays with um, Madrid. Um, we tied. Mm -hmm. now, that was absolutely magical that we tied Portugal. Then we played Germany, mm -hmm. and we lost. Now, they ultimately won the World Cup, uh -huh. Germany. I, I remember. We, <laughs> we lost, I think it was one nothing. I mean, that was like a miracle. <laughs> so... This I use. I use this shape to get out. The the last one is um, let's see. The last one was in a, like a jungle stadium. It was all really oh. really hot. So I mean, these all have a certain mm -hmm. significance for the games. That's the Portuguese, and then the German mm -hmm. tied. I mean, they they beat us, but we 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 got out of that group, and then we we played Belgium. That was our. Then we get into the knockout oh, phase. That's yeah, that's a, that's Belgium. Okay. Ah. Yeah, uh. so that was the end of my the end uh. of my World Cup poster career. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, so that was fun. That's mm -hmm. that's recent, and that's mm -hmm. uh, more in the style of uh, that type of work that I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, let's look at one last project. Okay. Uh, Why don't you pick one? I'll pick one. I'll pick this one here. The ex is this. That USIA one? exhibition logo? Yeah, that, I was working at the George Nelson office. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, that's, a, that's an interesting one. Mm -hmm. The officer in charge of this program, it was a, uh, an exhibit on industrial design in the United States that was going to travel at that time through the Soviet Union. And I was working, and we, we could work with the flag, and mm -hmm. I was, I was, I'm working, working, working. And he goes, no, 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 no. They look too... He says, we need something... Something that has a little, uh, I, 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 I could use the word I wouldn't want to put on here, but, like you know, yeah, oomph, yes. there you go, oomph. <laughs> and he, he said something like a slinky, uh. and I thought, oh, I thought, uh. wow. So I did that with the, with the thing. Then, you uh. know, after doing that, I sent it out for a stat. I did it, I worked in color, mm -hmm. and then it looked like the wool mark. Yes. That's, yep, a, yep, that's yep, a, yep, a yep, wonderful yep. mark. And I hadn't, I mean, when always working in color, I didn't see any, you know, mm -hmm. it was, to me it was a flag becoming mm. a slinky. Anyway, we used it and um, ah, yep, that's yeah, the inspiration. There's the slinky, yeah, it's the inspiration. And that was, I, I worked with George very uh, closely with him. I did all the graphics. It was a 64-page mm -hmm. brochure on industrial design in the United States. So mm. that was like a um, lovely experience working with I, George. I love the fact, the abstraction of not having the stars as well, but yeah. it's, it's, it can't be anything else. It works, yeah. yeah. And that's the brochure oh, yes. I did with George. 
Yeah, so that's... Oh, okay. <laughs> Great. Um, let's, I think, I think our, yes, we have our, our portfolio review oh, ready for us. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Paula Del Mas. Hello. Hello, Paula. Hello. Please join us here on... How Amiga. are you? Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Paula. <laughs> Paula. You can stay in the, in the middle. In the middle? Yeah. Okay. And I'll, I'll also, I'll, I'll be very, I, it's between you two now. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. But basically, yes. Um, uh, so Paula submitted her portfolio online uh, to us and um, she was selected to, to show her work. Mm -hmm. So okay. maybe you can start so with just a little introduction about you. Uh, well, um, I am uh, an architect from, uh, I studied ar architecture and I'm in for three, four years now in the design field. Okay. Um, and uh, I don't know, I live in, I am from Argentina, but I've been living also in Barcelona and in Florence. Now I'm based in Florence. Okay. Um, and these, I, they are a bit of the last uh, works I, I have. And um, I, I work also a lot on digital mm -hmm. regularly and on an agency. So I, but on my portfolio, I don't, <laughs> I don't have <laughs> web. Um, I, I have a bit of a mixed uh, background because I, may, I have uh, projects um, that came from uh, Letterpress. I have um, a, a, a group that we were called Ink Different. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. and so I, I print and then I have another um, project that is Type Around, that is this one. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I open uh, the... Yes, yes. It's uh, well, this one is um, Type Around, that is um, a project about discoveries uh, type discoveries in the city, so I make. Um, oh, it's on the other. Yes, I have, it, I have <laughs> okay. it the old yeah. way. <laughs> <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I have by now. At the moment, it's only an Instagram page. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I'm. I try to um, uh, place also the the letter. I'm planning also to make a map, uh -huh. just to to put the to put it yeah. in the yes. And, uh, well, they are a bit, um, I try to do something a bit different with the, with the font, I found. Okay. Some of them are really literal, like, right. or like this one. Uh -huh. Some of them I just pick like a little, or right. I don't know, this number, and so I, I play with the... Yeah, that's good. You can get the girl out of architecture, but you can't yeah, get the yes. architect out uh -huh. of the girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because I, wa I was in uh, Florence and I said, okay, I want to do something with the city. I, yeah. I absolutely want to do something with the city. And I passed from the idea to illustrating doors, um, windows, <laughs> a lot of things. And then I arrived because Ink Different is a, a um, previous project of mine. So I said, okay, maybe I can mix both. I, uh, I I love typography, so... Mm. Yeah. No, and I think I, I like very much how you tie the whole overview together, mm -hmm. like taking so many of them and putting some su suggestion of space. Mm -hmm. It's not just flat, so flat. you get a sense that it comes out of the city, you know? I like that. I don't know if I'm going to develop it in another way. I would, maybe on a website, I'm trying to to figure out what what to do now with this yeah. because it's just um, well I think the map hobby. the map's a good idea and I think maybe you could even um, show a, a little hint of the reference that you you mm -hmm. use to get to it so you make it and real. the pictures yeah you mean. yeah I mean don't mm -hmm. overdo that but you can kind of um, you know show the where, where the stimulus comes mm -hmm. from yeah at the beginning I was really in doubt about that because in on the Instagram I put a bit of mix of yeah. photographs. No, you have to be careful. But there's a lot of people doing that also. <laughs> the pictures of Well, the but I think what you've done you you you've taken the next step and you you've translated it into a, a re-expression or mm -hmm. a, you know and maybe if if it is important and I think it is and that's that's the point of what you've done here. You've taken it not just you know, here's a picture of a great sign in Florence, mm. but this is this is a letter form, um, and I've, I've mm. interpreted it this way, and here it is on the map. I mean, you got three things. You have your interpretation, you have the uh, letter form itself, and you got Florence, is a pretty beautiful place. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, a map yes. of Florence, yeah. Yes. And I think in doing something like that, you might even find that you shift some of, some of the things that you've done here 
to you know get more power out of them, or you know maybe a different way of getting a dimension dimensionality out of it. Mm -hmm. Because I think the idea is lovely. I was thinking also on uh, maybe making some collaboration with the uh, uh, writers because I have a group of writers in Florence, uh -huh. and I was thinking that maybe I can make some collaborations that they can make like a little little story, really uh -huh. small, mm -hmm. or of the. A sign or of the place of the sign or what the font tells them. Yes. Something like well, that. Well, I, I think I don't, what I, don't I would know. recommend is that before you do that, you come at it in a more simple way and you get the strength of your idea mm -hmm. uh, and kind of focus on each one of your expressions. I mean, now it's like a collage mm -hmm. of different yeah. ideas. Come and maybe, maybe it's more like um, a, a rep repetition of where it's on the map, what's the reference, and then, then you might do more than one thing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. with, with your ideas. I mean, you might run through variations on color because of the area it comes from in the city and so forth. But I, I, I think in that way, it's more visually powerful, mm -hmm. you know, and when you start describing things, uh, it's a whole other way, Wait. you know. I mean, you have, you have a visual idea here that uh, I would hold on to, I think. Mm -hmm. you know? Okay. Interesting. Yeah? <laughs> yes. I don't know. El, uh, I have this one that I would like to have an opinion. It's the uh, last uh, work I, I've done. It was a contest. I mm -hmm. am second. <laughs> <in the laughs> it was the graphic for a festival uh, in Florence. Music, um, there's a lot of things, theater, um, in the summer f and for all ages, so there's uh -huh. a bit of everything. Um, the the problem with the last year illustration was that that the um, name, the naming, and the, the logo. There's not a logo. Um, it was not really uh, legible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I work at the beginning with the lettering, with the font. Right. And I I work also. I try to simplify uh, everything, the um, illustrations and all the, I, I wanted a flat um, background. Uh -huh. And I, the first um, proposal was changing in the month with the temperature. So I was hypothesizing, hypothesizing you, you can say I, that? Yes. Uh, <laughs> that I can change the posters uh, during Two months, two months, and two months. Right. So I have like a little bit more spring colors, and then more strong summer. This one. This one is the um, in the summer, the middle of the summer. Uh huh. And then I end with the September, October, more cold. They're all really pop, no, uh -huh. a bit. And I want a movement. I was imagining also this, uh, like a GIF, no? also animated with these bubbles coming up. And, uh, well, there was uh, different uh, subjects. Right. I have also different proposals with the colors, but mm. the principal one was, uh, was this one. Uh -huh. It was quite an experience because I, it was not me who was presenting, so I couldn't make the pitch, uh. <laughs> so I couldn't defend also the, the uh. project, so it's not really Well, I, 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 I like it. I like the spirit of it, and the idea of using colors the way you suggested is, is quite nice. And I like also where you break, break it into the different parts of the, um, you know, the, the, the different specific aspects, and you do it in the same language as your basic poster. Mm -hmm. Go, go down. I think it's down the other way. Uh, the other way? This yeah. one? Yeah, there. Ah, this one. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, mean, I think yeah, that's because at the end it's a system that yeah. I can use. Yeah, it. Sure. The, just yeah. the, it could be those uh, per personal personage um, uh, um, uh, actors. No, how yeah. do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I don't have the the word, but it can be these two subjects, or ah, it can subject, be yeah. uh, anyone. No, yeah. it can be yeah. um, maybe here just only an element to talk about uh -huh. the cinema, right. or yeah. maybe kids. 
Yeah. It's just a play about with the background, the right. bubbles, and and you keep the the, the visual language is the same, so it ties mm. in. Yeah. Literally, you're using elements from the poster, and then when you have the yes, mm -hmm. you need an object, and you do that. Yeah. Good. Here. I have really a, a good feedback, but yeah. well, at the end. It's not printed. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so in the end, I Florence have is Florence. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been living in Florence for 25 years now. I know. And uh, I've participated at the beginning at some contests. Yeah. But, uh, but then I gave up and I, I did another <laughs> strat strategy. I, uh -huh. Whenever the contest was finished and I knew that all the results were bad, uh -huh. I would come in and pitch. Okay. okay. <laughs> I said, you okay. know. Maybe. <laughs> so, because you can do that. Um, yeah. So mm -hmm. this is this is how I got to do the Florence uh, bus map and all these. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now yeah, there's a trick yes. for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you learned well, a good so trick. <laughs> okay, I know that. now they contact me all, uh, to put it on the Lungarno magazine, ah, okay. mm -hmm. so it will be on the ah. cover. One, one of nice. them it will be <laughs> on the cover. So okay. yes, I'm I'm happy. But yeah, <laughs> you have time to look at one more project. Okay. Um, uh, maybe the um, ink different. That is something. Mm -hmm different from what <laughs> I normally work on. So it's a lab. So we just experiment. We don't have much. Um, we play with the, uh, the yeah, first time the I arrived there. I was really I, I said, OK, this is not possible. This lab, this typography lab is not <laughs> been used so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, in in a really lovely uh, school in uh, in Florence. Uh -huh. So, um, well, the first uh, series we work on um, Rebel Cities. It's called because um, it was uh, the design week mm -hmm. on Florence, and they were uh, the subject was cities, this uh, city creative cities, mm -hmm. and we wanted to work on the more on the. Um, on what happened on the beginning of the 21st century, you know, with all the revolutions, and uh, we wanted to talk a bit of that, no? Also, right. it's related with our name a bit. Mm. <laughs> so we have also, um, well, these are the first, first uh, prints. This is a mix between letterpress and um, uh, se se um, serigraphy. Serigraphy. Si silks. Print. Silk print. Silk yeah, print. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Silk yeah. print. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's the um, Palazzo Vecchio. Uh -huh. This yeah. one, it was really difficult. It was, we were cutting acrylic to mm. kind of do that because there was not enough bees not enough, uh, yeah. to do that. Uh, yeah. uh, yes. Then when, when you think on the thing, it, it's really interesting thing to do because when you pass from working on the computer and the ideas and uh, elaborating the ideas to the proper lab and try to put all together with the spaces and uh, it's not working, anything is working. It's like <laughs> and then we make another, the last one, it was uh, anomalies that it um, we begin with a composition of an alphabet and then we broke, broke it, break it. And so we, uh, there are more than 30 prints, all different. And d did you do this by hand or you, yeah. you, you bring it? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. It's like it's a, a matrix. A, yeah. So yeah. we build the matrix first with yeah. the wooden and uh, metal type, and then yeah. we print it. I, I tried to embed a, a video, but I, it was not um, functioning. Mm. So they are really particular. All of them are different. We try to mask places, cut the paper. <laughs> I love it when graphic design almost becomes art as well in this case. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yes, because it came from one idea of the composition of, of the alphabet mm -hmm. and then it just developed on something else. Where is that? that um um, Il Bisonte. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, San Nicolo. Yes. It's an, right. an old yeah. art school. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a lot of um, variation on, on one yes. theme like that. And you've done, <laughs> you've done so. Your, your work has a very, um, I don't want to use the word clean, clear. I guess clear is uh, mm -hmm. a good way of saying it, yeah? Mm -hmm. I, mean, you c I can see what you're up to. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is there any specific direction that you see yourself going into in the future? 
like something you really want to do? I really want to work on uh, on branding and mm -hmm. uh, yeah. more more than only digital. Mm -hmm. I understand yeah. digital as a <laughs> complement mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of the because now I am building all time all the time app website mm -hmm. ah, yes, and yes. so uh, <laughs> yeah so. Yes. <laughs> I've, I've had a little of that you know, on my website, despite it yeah. <laughs> was enough. You know, uh, are you coming to my talk? Later? Yes, yes, okay. yes. Because you're, you're an architect doing visual communication. Yes. <laughs> I'm an industrial designer. So. Oh, okay. And, and I think now with the technology and, and the collaboration you can do or do yourself with the software, I mean, it's the whole world out there. Yes, you know? yes. And you, 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 you have a, a nice, um, nice visual touch. Got to push you back more into Thank the you. third yeah. dimension. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yes, and maybe one advice that um, that I can think of is mm -hmm. um, the portfolio mm -hmm. is um, is really some that you should really push your aspirations, like mm -hmm. the things you want to do. Yeah. Uh, so that you know, so, so that people can actually get a focus on on the things that because. If you put things that you didn't like doing, but mm -hmm. they came out okay, um, people might contact you to yes, do the same yes, again. Yes, yes. You know, so, and you don't I know yeah, I, can, right? I, I clean a lot, <laughs> yeah. and that's yes, why yes, I yes. don't uh -huh. have even <laughs> nothing of website now. Uh -huh. But yes, um, that, that, that's, but a, that's very good. Yes. Yeah. But yes, I know, I know. I'm trying also to keep it. Um, how you know? You said it. Um, Updated. Updated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's difficult because I don't have much time. But mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Well, thank you. Well, thank, thank you so you. much, Paula. Thank you. Yes. Thank uh -huh. you. It was a pleasure. Paula. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And good luck. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Bye. All right, Lance. We have one last uh, portfolio to look at, and that's from uh, Artur Zingoni from okay. uh, Belo Horizonte in Brazil. So <coughs> let's see if um, if uh, this always goes out here. The chat. Let's see if. Uh, if uh, Artur is in the chat. Okay. So basically, Artur um, uh, submitted this portfolio to us. And the way that I approach this usually is I ask the guest to, to, uh, to pick a project or a couple that like, piques your interest uh, when, you, when you go through the, through the page. Oh, there's only three, uh, six here. So okay. maybe th if there's something, a specific project that you would like to look at. Oh, let's see. Barbaroso. I think that in honor of typography, that's... Uh, this one? Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's such a... Let, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of reading. That's that's typically very good uh, uh -huh. when you know when they when um, uh, when in the portfolio they uh, they use text to actually develop on the concept and the process. So so it looks like a beer bottle. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Zingoni is his name. So I guess that he did that for his agency. For his agency or for his like for his for his himself, I guess. His yes. beer. Yes, Maybe. for his beer. Maybe he makes <laughs> he's beer. Maybe he's on the right track. <laughs> Artur Zingoni <coughs> is here. Yes. Okay. Hey, Artur. So, if you have any questions for for Lance, please don't hesitate to uh, um, uh, to post them here. And also, if there's any specific projects that you want uh, us to look at, yeah, please uh, let us know. I think that would be this, good if he wants yes. feedback on any mm -hmm. one specific. Because yeah. yeah. So this, for example, I, 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 would like, I would like to see more of a series, maybe, yeah. um, an application on various things. Or, um, but I think I've, so, I've seen a project like this when I was browsing the um, portfolio. This one here, where it's really um, His studio. the corporate identity for, for himself, I guess. Uh -huh. And there we see uh, that really there's applications on, you know, even on the roll of paper. Right. And I found this interesting because the, the pattern is actually the Z the from... Z. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. <coughs> Famous quotes. Mm -hmm. 
And yes, and yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think uh, using the Z and then going into a pattern and not being so obvious by pulling the Z out, but it's, mm -hmm. it's in there. Uh, I think that's a good application. I'd like to see him do more experimentation with the Z too, not, yes. not just a pattern, because mm -hmm. it's a very, uh, a very legible type of letter to work mm -hmm. with, and there's probably a lot of things that can be done. Maybe even slanting uh, to have meaning in, in certain types of um, project areas that he wants to work in. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can take the Z and be expressive uh, mm -hmm. with the Z itself. Yes, because we start seeing it here. <laughs> Yes. And uh, when it gets round, right? And it, becomes, yes. it becomes another shape. It becomes right. another, um, yeah, another composition. And going into the third dimension might be fun because it's, mm -hmm. uh, it's a very structural form. Mm -hmm. See what other, is he? Arturo, no, Arturo is not saying anything. <coughs> so let's just go on. But, uh, that's the... Uh, it's a, a brewery a again. Brewery. So I guess Arturo likes beer. Yeah. Oh, Barbarossa. Okay, Barbarossa, I see. That's, yes. a, that's a pirate, right? Is that a pirate? Uh, sure. Red beard? Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Red yeah. beard. Yeah, yeah. Barbarossa. Hmm. Okay. Go back to that last image. I, I, I think. The, yeah, the no, I, I like I like when you start um, integrating the, um, the you know the image, the mm -hmm. iconography, with the typography. Yes. I'm, I'm just wondering. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. The B and the R. Yeah. And then it becomes yeah. the beard almost. Yeah. <laughs> Come in on that one up, this one, yeah. <coughs> now that, is ah, that? Ah, okay, yes, yeah, you see, that I'm gonna zoom in. Yeah. Uh, he used the B and the R to create the beard, yes. Right, yeah. yeah. Okay, so we, we saw that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I need to go down. Uh. Okay, let's look at one last project. Okay. Uh, what is this? This is just... Come uh, in on it and see. Mm -hmm. Maybe gold? It's hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I think Arturo needs a little bit more um, explanation also to his, uh, to his concepts or, or simplify them in such a way that it is unequivocally <laughs> understandable. Yeah, I think, mm. I think you can go mm -hmm. uh, probably both directions with the, with the, with the, uh, the letters and, and the, mm -hmm. the pirate form, the skull, um, and you know, take it into maybe pure black and white mm -hmm. and get the strength out of that idea because I think the mm -hmm. idea is good. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice combination. Now this is... This is another beer? So yeah. we're now we definitely know that yeah. Arturo likes beer. Is, okay, the idea of this project is to use the map language. Uh, which project? Okay, mm. let's see. The idea of this project is to use the map language. Yeah. So these are nice graphical applications. Yeah. What is what what uh, what do you mean by the uh, map language? Yes, Arturo, if if you can tell us a little bit more about your concept of using the map language, that would be awesome. We have very little time left. But I think you know Arturo yeah. is on a, on a good good. <coughs> yeah, path. you're on a you're on a yeah. good path. Mm -hmm. And I think your graphics are, are strong. Yeah. I think mm -hmm. keep keep your focus, keep your resolve. Mm -hmm. uh, Keep pushing it into the final resolve, mm -hmm. and um, I think you're fine. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> All right, Lance. Okay, our time is over. It's <laughs> great. I could I could be uh, like listening to like uh, your stories about how you came to your icons and logos and maps for 
Much longer. Well, you, you'll get enough of that in my oh, talk. In your so, presentation, yeah. I'll make sure to be there. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining yeah. us. And, Pleasure um, to be here. And you guys stay tuned because we're going to be continuing in five minutes. Okay? So okay. the stream is going on. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, -bye. Thank you. Oh, thank okay. you.